Welcome everyone. Our next stop on this Arizona adventure is Montezuma Castle National Monument. Join us for an all new hiking day. On December 8, 1906, President Theodore Roosevelt celebrated the passage of the Antiquities Act by declaring four sites of historic and cultural significance as our nation's first national monuments. Among these was Montezuma Castle, located in Camp Verde, Arizona, which the president identified as a place of the greatest ethnological value and scientific interest. Although very few original artifacts remain in the structure, due to intensive looting of the site, Roosevelt's decision assured the continued protection of one of the best preserved prehistoric cliff dwellings in North America. Montezuma Castle National Monument quickly became a destination for America's first car-bound tourists. In 1933, Castle A, a 45-50 to room Pueblo ruin was excavated, uncovering a wealth of artifacts and greatly enhanced an understanding of the ancient Sanagua people that lived here over 12,000 years ago. Early visitors to the monument were allowed access to the structure by climbing a series of ladders up the side of the limestone cliffs. However, due to extensive damage to this valuable cultural landmark, public access to the ruins was discontinued in 1951. Now, approximately 350,000 people a year gaze through the windows of the past during a visit to Montezuma Castle. Even 600 years after their departure, the legacy of the Sanagua people continues to inspire the imaginations of this in future generations. In this video, we will tour these unique ancient ruins in the heart of Arizona, featuring a third mile out and back paved trail around the cliffside structure with 36 feet of elevation gain. I highly recommend making the stop to this dwelling if you are in the area, it is definitely worth it. There is a $10 entrance fee to enter, but luckily we had our America's Parks Pass. Well organized exhibits line the inside of the visitor center, as well as a gift shop offering locally crafted souvenirs. Welcome everyone to day four of our Arizona adventure. We are driving now to Montezuma Castle National Monument and it's currently a winter weather advisory, uh, winter storm warning here. We have a Pineapple Express from California that's making its way in. And so we're gonna probably experience some rain on the way here, but we're gonna make the best of today. So we had some other stuff planned. We were gonna go to uh, this town called Jerome, which was uh, kind of like a ghost town taken over by hippies that were squatting there. And then they kind of established the town again. Um, but we're gonna skip that. And then we're also going to skip Cottonwood, uh, where we were gonna go to Tuzagut National Monument. It's like a Pueblo ruins. But we're gonna go and visit Montezuma Castle first and then drive to Sedona and check out the city. Hopefully it doesn't uh, rain too much and, and transitions to snow. And then we'll go and do some hiking if, it, if it's snowing. So that's the plan for today. And then we'll check into our hotel, The Elements by, um, by Weston, I think. And that should be our, our goal for today, I think. So sit back, relax, and join us for an all new adventure. Alright guys, our first stop for today, Montezuma Castle. Here's a visitor center. This is a beautiful cliff dwelling within the, uh, the hills here. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, we're going to do the trail first. Look at those. I don't even know how they got up there to do that. Hi. <laughs> we beat the rain, guys. It's starting to come now. All right, guys. So this says Montezuma Castle invites us to pause in wonder at the ingenuity of the people who began building it over 700 years ago. 
So this was constructed by uh, the Pueblan people. That's crazy. I'll read that information over this uh, footage as well so you guys could get an understanding of the history. By the way, this is a third of a mile paved trail, so it's really fast. Probably the fastest monument ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is, it's right there. <laughs> Wow, that's cool. It's big. Yeah, it is. It's like a... I don't know how they built that up there. Wow, that is something else. Yeah, look at that. There it is, guys. Montezuma Castle. That is beautiful. So between approximately, it looks like 1100 and 1400, the castle neighborhood also included a larger, larger pueblo and numerous small ones as well along Beaver Creek. So you guys could see there's uh, Montezuma Castle, there's hillside rooms, a bunch of different structures here. They also have some nice uh, seating that's covered. This is actually really beautiful. It's really nice. I like it. I like that you could get close closer to it than uh, yeah, Mesa Verde. For sure. Well, how do you get up there though, man? I don't know. It says, uh, to construct their cliff home, residents made use of naturally eroded alcove and fit 20 rooms into the shape of its contours. Wow. Each group living in the castle had their own room with roughly 140 square feet or about 17.5 feet by 8 feet wide. And the ceilings are 5 feet high, it says. That is crazy. Oh look, there's one of those little entrances. See that hole over there? Yeah, you see that there's some stuff down below too, right there, you see them? Yeah. Right below, there's two little hole windows like. You used to actually be able to go up in here too. Oh man. Like on tours, you used to be able to go in. There's another little hole up there. That's crazy. See, this is the monument, guys, that we didn't go to, uh, to Zagut. It's over by uh, Cottonwood, I believe. But honestly, it's not. I don't think it's that impressive as this one. Yeah, oh, look at that. Look at like the, sp the speckles on that tree, the bark. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's cool. Oh, wow, look at those hills. That's crazy. Hi. All right, guys, you could see all the different floors they had here of rooms. Look at that. This cliff may seem a featureless stone face with a few holes and broken walls, but look closely at the rocks and they reveal the outline of a once large and vibrant neighbor to Montezuma Castle. 
So there's five layers of uh, rooms here that they carved out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's like a whole little network of rooms everywhere. Right, guys the reason why they wrap these trees too is because people vandalized them and etched their names in there that's which is i can't people just always uh always have to ruin stuff humans that's why you guys should leave no trace when you visit these places because we have to preserve this for future generations So it says these alcoves served um, in the Verde Valley as storage units and spiritual sites. Really cool stuff. There's another one of those covered areas too. It says around 1400, after centuries of settlements here, families began leaving the Verde Valley homes. Jeez. And you guys could also see uh, two Zagudas over there and then Montezuma Castle as well as Montezuma's Well, which has some of the highest levels of arsenic in the water. I thought that was pretty crazy. Really interesting though. Nice quick stop. It's good to do stuff like this on the rainy day. You want to go sign off on, on that right Yeah, yeah.
right guys, thank you for watching today's shore hiking adventure to Montezuma Castle National Monument. Our next stop is going to be Sedona. I will see you all there.